Oh hi there, it's the English Picker here, just enjoying a nice cup of tea on a lazy afternoon. Uh, just been doing some listings, so I thought I'd have a break to uh, show you some of the toy finds that I found at the weekend. Um, also, a couple of trainers which I forgot to show in my last video. If you haven't seen them, I've got two previous videos that show some bits from the weekend. There's tons more than this, but it's still in my van. I still haven't taken it out, and these are just the bits that I've had a chance to take out. So I'll show you the trainers first that were the leftovers from last one, which I forgot to show you, and then the rest is toys, games, and some other miscellaneous bits and pieces. Uh, I picked these up for £3.50. They're a nice pair of uh, Puma um, TX3s in really nice condition. Uh, there's a little bit of wear sort of here and, and here. Um, but it's not an insulting amount of wear, so uh, and these are quite large. They're size 11s, I think. Um, yeah, size 11s. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, these are really unusual. I paid up for these. Uh, I paid eight pounds for them, and they're set of Adidas uh, Betty Boop um, Adi Color shoes. So you can see there. They got this embroidery work on the side, stuff like that. You see on the back there and then underneath um you've got the two things there and then on the tongs they've got sort of all the information and little kisses in the inside so for eight quid prices are all over the place but i'm going to aim for about 25. um okay uh i picked up these i've got one here and one here uh, I paid two pounds each for these. The guy knew what they were. They were Star Wars. The Star Wars, and they're marked underneath 1997 Lucas Arts Film. Uh, sorry, Lucas Films Limited, and they're made by Kenner. So I couldn't remember what they were called at the time, but I think they're called uh, Jewbax or D D W B A C K, something like that. And uh, for two quid each, I think I've done pretty well. I think I'll sell them as a pair. Because uh, individually you're going to come across the problem of this is going to uh, be sent sort of small parcel. So it's going to cost you £2.80 second class. So as a pair they'll go the same and I think I'll get about £10-£12, pounds, something like that. So that was pretty cool. Or I might bundle them with some Star Wars figures. Uh, I picked up this Playmobil set. Uh, this was from the woman in the first video that was talking to the dickhead of the week. Um... And there isn't any figures, but there's monkeys and loads of accessories. Oh no, there's one figure, but you can see it's a, like a fold-out playset, uh, and I paid uh, four pounds for that. It was either three or four pounds. It was around that. Um, and then also I picked up these from the store holder next to her whoop, for two pounds. It was all, all these, they're expired, but I think I should still do okay. I've got three HP 45s. I've got a HP uh, 78. I've got two HP 57s. And a HP 300 cartridge. So I've done well with expired ink before, so they shouldn't be too much of a problem. I might have to sell them in bundles. Then this was a nice find, which I may end up keeping myself, uh, is a mini mag light. I paid two pounds for this. It's all in there. But what's quite cool, it's one of the ones that you, it's got the clip that you can go in your pocket, but this is the cool bit. It's branded with Ford on there. So um, yeah, guy said he's never used it. I'll probably swap out the batteries, but yeah, for two quid, it's a no-brainer, really. And then this is the thing I got, the last thing I got from the woman who was dealing with the dickhead of the week. And it is a Lego Exo Force. I paid two pounds for this. Um, yeah, that's right, because the Playmobil set and this were five pounds. So that was three, this was two. And she said it's new, but all the bits are in there, so... If I don't drop it. So all the bits are in there in bags. Uh, it's been ripped open but not assembled. So this is a, a better fit for um, for eBay because if someone orders something like this on Amazon, they'd be quite disappointed to receive this. But even though it's complete, 
uh, but if you put it on eBay, you can just say, look, it's been opened, all the bits are there, show all the bits, you're laughing. So I haven't even looked that up, but for two quid I wasn't going to leave that there. And then what else did we have here? Let's see. Um, for three pounds, oh, wrong way, there we go, and it says working, and I can show you that it's working. I cannot play piano at all. There we go, little Casio, Casio PL1. So for three quid, a bit of grubbiness here, but they're just sticky residue, obviously, from marking what the notes are. Um, I'll take the batteries out and I'll list that. Uh, I have no idea what it goes for, but I know some vintage keyboards can be worth some money. Then I picked up some nerve guns. I picked up this one for four pounds. And then the next one down there was six or seven pounds, I can't remember. Uh, this is a, what's it called? I can't remember the name. It's, I don't know if it's got a name. No, it doesn't appear to have a name, which I thought they did. But the reason why I went on it is because it's got all these magazines. So I thought if all else fails, I can part it out and sell these magazines. Um, it seems to be working, if I can remember how to do it. I don't know. That revolves the magazines, and I think you pull back, I don't know, but it did seem to be working, um, so for that price that was good, I've got some other Nerf guns, which I bought a little handheld one for £2, your standard sort of revolver, so that'll go with it, and then there was this, now I paid up for this, I think I paid £7 for it, this is the one with the name on, it's called a, a Raider CS35, but when I cock it and do it. it it makes the noise but not much air comes out the end so I don't know if there's one jammed in there or something maybe that was why it was there but I thought if all else fails I can just sell this drum magazine and get a decent chunk of money for that so um, and it, it all comes apart so I can maybe sell sell the stock and that sort of thing um, they've got lots of other little guns but I didn't want to bother with them because they wanted like three quid each and stuff like that so that was a better deal and then for £2.50 I think it's the cheapest I've ever bought a Wii for I bought a Wii uh, it came with the AV adapter and uh, a non official nunchuck no power cord no sensor bar but I've got replacements no idea if it works but £2.50 I mean, it's, you know, it's worth a, worth a go. Ironically, though, the actual main console part is the least, sort of really the least valuable. If it got some remotes, that would have been excellent. The power cord's expensive because of uh, shipping. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, there's going to be a load of downloaded content on there or something which would make it be worth more money, but... Unfortunately, the sale of replacement Wii consoles themselves seems to have just died. I find them really, really hard to shift. And I've got about six at the moment, and they are just not selling. I can sell the remotes, I can sell like the sensor bar, I've sold those before, but the actual consoles themselves are really tough to sell. The market's a bit flooded with them, unfortunately. Um, so that's that. And then... What else do we have? And then the last thing, actually, that's it, uh, is I picked up these. Now, they're in a big box, and I'll quickly whiz through them. The guy wanted a pound each, and I've had some of these before. And they are um, Action Man. And you can see on his arse, there, come on. Come on, focus on his arse. That just sounded weird. Uh, there we go. 1994 Hasbro. And this guy's got like a, a fuzzy hairdo. Uh, most of them are n uh, naked. Uh, there are some clothing and accessories in this bag. Little, little bits and pieces like that. Um, basically the guy wanted a pound each. And I asked him what he would take for all of them. And he said eight pounds. So there's that guy. Uh, there's this dude, I don't know if he's the same, that's 1998, that one, 
Then they're not all action man. I don't know who this guy is. Um, then we've got this guy's got like a jumpsuit. And then there's a guy who's a bit dismembered. He's dated 1999. So they're not all older. So I'm going to have to process them. Uh, this guy's dated 1998 as well with his armour on. Then there's this... Um, oh God, I can't remember his name. Dr. Somebody or other. This is dated 1998, but his legs are sort of squidgy. He's got his hand there and stuff like that. Is it Dr. X? I can't remember. There were some... Um, what are these? I don't know if they're Barbie or something. There's just like one or two of those. Um, then again with the squidgy legged ones. And then you've got this guy who's got some kind of sound effects, but I'm a, a bit of life there. Oh no, that's going to drive us mad now, isn't it? 1997. And this guy has seen better days. All of his hairs come out and stuff. So I don't, I don't, I really don't know if any of this is going to be any good or not. I thought for eight quid as a huge job lot, it's maybe worth a go. Pick out some of the gems if there is any, and then the rest I'll just slap on as a a huge mixed bag, you know. And hopefully somebody will take them off my hands. Um, and then here we have, I don't know who on earth that is. That actually says 1968 on the back. So I don't know. Anybody knows? Let me know. No idea. Um, it could be 1998, but it does look like 1968. This says 1990. Seven, and that's Doctor. I think it is Doctor X. I was never into Action Man when I was a kid. I was more sort of computer games and that sort of thing, or Turtles, that sort of type of thing. I did pick up some Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles as well. I will go and get them actually. Uh, there's that guy. Another one. You get the idea. And there's about another four or five. More in here, some with missing bits. There we go. And there, uh, if you hold on one second, oh, this guy does do. So, yeah, don't know. And then there's all the accessories, and then if you just bear with me one second. Apologies, poor planning on my part. Oh, I picked up these. I picked up this guy for 50p. Got Leonardo there, no accessories or anything. He's not particularly old. I think he's 2002 or something like that. Um, then we've got Two Face with a, dressed as like a pirate. Uh, these guys were, I think they're all 50. Yeah, they're all 50p each or something like that. Uh, we've got this one, and this guy, it took me ages to work out who he was, he's from Captain Planet, and he glows in the dark, not mega money on this sort of thing, but not bad, um, we've got Batman, who does that, and that, I don't know if this is Batman as well, but just, it's the uh, Batman Third Reich edition, I think, um, he's been taking some... Um, lessons off the uh off the queen which if you've seen in the recent news you'll know what i mean uh so yeah and then this guy took me ages to work out who he was um i thought it was the guy from uh zombies the uh mega drive game it looks like him but it's not it's actually from the series street sharks and he's the jawsome human from street sharks he's missing his accessories not mega money but and then this guy guy took me a while this guy's from a series called gargoyles or something like that and he did work when i got him but the batteries have gone and his eyes light up and he makes a noise i don't know his name and i'm not sure of the value yet so yeah they were the toys and bits i got really so that's pretty much it there is still all the cap comics in my car when I get them out and lay them out, I'll do a video for you guys and you can have a look at just some of the stuff that I got because it's just silly. 
I also got some other board games and stuff like that, but not particularly interesting. Um, you've all seen it before. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It's really appreciated. Uh, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything like that, or if there's any way you can help me with any of these bits, drop your comments in the doobly do the the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.